Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with the January 2022 solar panel and power wall update. I'm going to continue to try and do this monthly as I can. Uh, so this will be January. As always, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and uh, let's take a look at the data. As you can see in the beginning of the month here, we were getting around 25 kilowatt hours of solar production during the day. Uh, in January, it's going to be one of the second or third lowest uh, production months. The, the angle of the sun is just really far away, and it's also the shortest days of the year. But as we get to the end of the month, uh, we're getting 33 kilowatt hours here. It's roughly a 20% increase just from those days getting longer and the sun getting closer to center. One thing I want to point out here is that our house usage averages around 22 kilowatt hours over the course of the month. Uh, at the beginning of the month, you see the gray showing that we're drawing from the grid. Later in the month, it's green showing that we're drawing from the power walls. Uh, what that actually is, is in the beginning of the month, we had a weather system with a ton of fog uh, that kind of didn't burn off until later in the day, so our production wasn't that much. But later in the month, we had a high pressure system come, and that led to a lot of sunny and clear days where we had a lot more production from the solar once we were consistently producing enough to cover our house usage, I switched over to the self-powered mode. That way we weren't paying those non-bypassable charges by using the grid uh, now that we were producing em enough on a consistent basis. Despite January being one of the lower producing months in the year, uh, we still made a little under 800 kilowatt hours. Now Tesla does predict our system is going to produce 16,700 kilowatt hours throughout the year. So it just goes to show you what a difference in production there is between the winter and the summer. Uh, just in the month of January alone, our peak production went from 6 kilowatt to 6.6 .6 kilowatt. Uh, this morning I saw 7.3 kilowatt when we had an extremely clear and sunny day. I was happy to see that despite January being a low production month, we were actually able to send back around 40 kilowatt hours to the grid, so we were net exporters. Uh, it just made me feel real good because this is going to be your second or third lowest month, and during the summer we should be producing so much more. Uh, as always, I'm going to try and do these updates once a month, so we'll see you at the end of February. Hope this helps. Have a good one.